So in this video, I'm just going to cover the basic functions on how you use the tool. I've tried to design it to be as simple as possible. So you, you have a BPM value, the beats per minute, and then you just click do it. And it uses your time frame slider range to decide how many bookmarks to create. It does the calculations then based on your frames per second have you seen. If you do change that while you're working, then you need to relaunch the tool. And it'll, it'll find that from the scene. And then if you do it now, it'll change them a little bit because the the feet length will change because of the frame rate relative to the seconds relative to the BPM. Again, let's not think about any of that stuff. Let's just leave the tool do the math for that. And then you can just clear those out. You can switch between native ones and Anonbot. If you've got Anonbot installed, it's the same thing, but just it, it works with Anonbot. Bookmarks instead of the native ones that were added in Maya 2020. And then the other option you have here is a 4434. This is just a visual thing, really. You'll notice if I change it, well, all that happens is some of the beats change color because a traditional metronome will only just give you one click. It'll do click, 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 click. But more modern metronomes, kind of digital ones, will usually emphasize a beat. So the typical, most typical music time signature is 4-4, as four, four, four beats, but usually that's an emphasis on the first one, so you're like 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's what this is trying to represent visually, the red ones are the kind of, the emphasis, if you like, the main beats, so it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, but the other, there are lots of time signatures, but 4-4 four, four is by far the most common one, but the next most common one probably is 3-4, I notice that is making every third one red instead. So it's kind of like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And musicians would often refer to this as waltz time because it has that sort of feel. So one, two, three, one, two, three, rather than four, four, which is more common in kind of rock and pop music. So it's purely a visual thing. It won't actually change where the bookmarks are. It just changes the color, really, because it, it's deciding which ones. But you might feel like, you know, animating with a kind of a, a waltz in mind. So it might be useful to be able to visualize it that way. And then you just hit clear, and you're back to just empty. It, one thing to note as well is it won't delete any existing bookmarks in your scene. It'll only delete ones that it's created, that, that, that specifically anim book, uh, metronome ones. And uh, that's all the basic functions. I'm going to make another, more videos on the creative uses of it, like like why you would use it apart from the obvious reason of, of animating to music. There, there are plenty of creative uses outside of that. Um, but this video is just purely to kind of get you started and get you using it.